Today, Boeing says their Starliner returned to Cape Canaveral after a mishap last month prevented it from docking with the International Space Station. Meantime, SpaceX is making strides. News 6's James Barbero is on the Space Coast, where they just marked another milestone in their mission to return astronauts to space from our coast. Feels like it's been a while since we've seen a rocket at launch pad 39A. It was last summer. SpaceX launched a Falcon Heavy. Now this Falcon 9 has an extremely important mission for NASA's commercial crew program. The in-flight abort test of Crew Dragon, and if successful, NASA should give clearance to SpaceX to fly astronauts. Pad is clear. Go for launch. SpaceX animation showing what American rocket launches have been missing for nine years now. Astronaut missions. Dragon's final hurdle before a crewed flight to the International Space Station will be an emergency test of the spaceship's ability during a launch to fly away from the rocket and safely land. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff. Dragon already flew to the ISS and back without astronauts. That was also the goal for Boeing, NASA's other commercial crew partner. However, last month, Starliner's trip was cut short because of an issue with the spaceship's internal timer. Now, after landing in New Mexico, Boeing says Starliner has returned to the Cape, safe and sound, a spokesperson tells us. While the investigation into Starliner's issue continues, SpaceX could conduct a static fire test of Falcon 9 tomorrow, more than a week before the final test of the spaceship. The in-flight aboard is now scheduled for no earlier than Saturday the 18th. SpaceX has not confirmed a time. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero getting results, News 6.